previously with Cyber Cherry. What the heck? There's an airship. I haven't seen one of those in forever. We've got to signal them. We're activated. But suddenly there's a flash of white light. Nothing could be done. My crew is gone. If anyone finds this, get word to HQ and lay us to rest at the peak of the mountain. There's another airship. Oh, we have a survivor. What's your name? Haboob. How's it going everyone? I'm Cyber Cherry and this is episode 6 of my survival Minecraft Let's Play. Welcome on back. So I've been thinking and I've finally come up with a name for our island. Since our industry is wood products, I think this island from now on should be called the Caldera Grove. What do you think? If you got any other better ideas let me know. Anyways, it's time to turn our attention to our objective for today, which is of course going to the end. Now, this is going to require us to find a stronghold, enter the portal, and to defeat the Ender Dragon. This is all in an effort to get shulker boxes for the sand traders. Their airships have been quite prone to crashing. Before we get on our way to the stronghold in the end, we should knock out a few projects. I mean, what if we don't make it back? Can't leave Major Haboob high and dry. If we head over to the Iron Tower for a better vantage point, we can see that there's a nice spot right about here for some machinery. As you would imagine, the iron bits and wood is pretty heavy. So we're gonna need a crane to assist us with lifting it. Well, at least Major Haboob will need some assistance. Anyways, let's get our materials in order and I'll be back. So mid grind detour, I wanted to show you the mess of our chests. Oh my goodness, they need to be organized but I've been putting some of this basalt to use. I was a little bit bored during the grind. Needed to mix it up and do that. I worked in a couple of gradients into our mountain, working from the andesite all the way to the basalt. So over here, added in a strip of basalt along the crease there. And we hop over here, here's a larger patch. Man. So this is gonna add in some variation to our build and where some of the water is gonna be running down the mountain, leaving a little bit of dirt or just eroding down to the surface layer of the volcanic rock as this is a caldera. So I just wanted to pass this on. If you see some changes around the place, it's gonna be a long and continuous process. So if you see any changes, that's why. But in the end, I think this gradient will treat us well. Anyways, back to the grind. Let's go. Incidental resources. Resource collection is done. We've got all kinds of materials stashed. Let's start placing them down.
Oh, baby. Welcome on back. Another satisfying build complete. So this build takes on a little bit more of a footprint than some of our other ones. And that serves a purpose because our crane is built on a track so it can move back and forth and kind of pick up whatever it needs to along the way. And for this build, I leaned heavily into the copper, as you can see. Man, a lot went into this, that's for sure. And I wanted to get a little bit of a steampunk vibe to it, but not too heavily since I, don't know, I feel like the steampunk vibe is overdone a little bit, but I'd be lying if I didn't like it. We connected this first platform. You could see the hazard strips here. Don't want anyone getting hurt. And we connected it up to the iron smelting area so the crane can grab from here as well. But if we follow around here, another connector, and this can lead us down into the operational area. We've got the wheels so it can roll back and forth along the track. And another thing I really like about this area, you could see I put some darker blocks on this edge of the track. Kind of gives it an indication like there's a shadow, even mixed in some, some different logs that are a little bit darker. It really accentuates the depth here. On the side of the crane, got some cross hatching for some additional support. And this is where we have the access for the crane operator. So the crane is ran by these furnaces. And this is how we're able to power it and lift a lot of weight. So let's go up there. Quick catch door for entry. And this is where we have the controls. So we got dual controls. So no matter what side you need for looking around, you're covered. And we've got our copper grabber right there. Kind of just like one of those games that you used to play to grab the stuffed animals. They're always rigged. Back on the ground level, you can see there's a counterweight here. This will assist with picking up whatever heavy stuff that we need, whether it be the iron or the logs. And this brings us over to the second pad. So on this pad, all of the wood is pre-staged for export. Got our oak. And we've got a mix bundle in the air right now that was just picked up. Dark oak, birch, and spruce. At each end of the track, we have some bumpers. Don't want to run out of the area. And lastly, I finally finished off the transition area between the crane and the bakery. So the workers, you know, could get a little bit hungry working all day. You can go get a snack or maybe a lunch. I already said lastly, but lastly, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I haven't used shaders in a long time, but let's see what it looks like. Oh, dude, that is so nice. Always gives us a little bit more depth, especially during sunset. Oh, just got to love those rays. Oh, this is what it's all about, baby. Well, now I think I've put it off long enough. Let's prepare to go to the end. Back in the bakery, I've been slowly collecting ender pearls and we have plenty of blaze powder on hand. So combining these gives us our guide to the stronghold. We go outside and let one go. It'll act like a compass floating in the direction we need to go. It looks like we need to go to the Northwest. In our pocket, we also need plenty of food, a bed, water bucket, scaffolding, and many other assorted items. Looks like we're all set. I might be a little bit overprepared, just a little bit. Woodford, are you ready, brother? This is gonna be the greatest off-island adventure we've had yet.
close. I think we're here. Oh, baby. Okay. Let's get set up here. First, got to make sure it's at least the right spot. Oh, there we go. Oh, we did it, Woodford. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Step one, get set up. All right, let's get down there. I think I'm going to dig a two by two hole Do right here. There it is. Let's go. Oh, okay. I'm going to be running out of torches already. I need to use them a little bit more sparingly. But no turning back now. So I've done these before. They can be a bit like a maze. We go a single diamond. Hello, where are you? Ha! Not so fast, there, partner. You're done. The last spot to check is down here. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Oh, I have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. Oh, back to the surface we go. Woodford, we're back. Wasn't too bad. Oh, I didn't forget anything. That's that's silly talk. Ba -ba -ba. On our way down, raw. Ah, drink of water. Got the very last one in our hand. Okay. Oh, baby. No. Alrighty. Let's do this. Okay, step one, put this on. Now we can look at the Enderman all we want and they can't bother us. Step two is knocking out the regeneration tower so the dragon can't heal. Where's the dragon? What a riveting fight, wouldn't you say? I didn't even attack this yet. For sure. Oh, no way, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, baby. That was a lot less exciting than I remember. <laughs> oh, it's lunch. Literally lunch. Our preparation for the... Oh, take that off. 
Our prep has paid off. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, let's go show our buddy Woodford. I'm sure he's plenty proud. Oh, we're back. To our buddy Woodford, we're victorious. Raw. Are you proud, brother? We did this together. We, of course, have a few more tasks to get done over there in the end. Need to get out to the far islands. Shulker boxes for sure. Back down we go. Catch you later, Woodford. Need to find an outer islands portal. Here we go. Now this portal will bring us out to the outer end islands. Oh, through the remote gateway to the great wild yonder. Put this back on. Guess it's time for some sketchy bridge building. Oh, we have a ship. That means an elytra. That is so close, dude. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Let's go! Sky's the limit, baby. Yes! Let's go! In our first shulker box? I've waited quite long enough. Oh, plenty of diamond armor to be had. Before we get hit again. Oh! And what? Let's just put on these wings. We've got our rockets and our first flight. Let's go. Not bad, dude. Dude, this is so exciting. Oh, I guess we're going to grind some shulker boxes. Let's go. Parkour, parkour. And we made it back. Oh, baby. Got our wings. Ah, oh, finally, dude. Woodford, are you proud of us? I know you are. Got a secret for you, bud. Wasn't that difficult. Just wanted to wait and experience stuff from the ground. Let's see what we all got. Holy cats. We got so much stuff. This will definitely come in handy with all these extra picks. You can go a long time without repairing. Anyways, let me clean this up for a bit and we'll get back to the island. Ah, home sweet home. Feels so good to be back in the safety of the island. Great job, Woodford. What a trusty steed. Now that we're back home, I can finally rest. But one of the things I like to do while resting is, of course, organization. <laughs> And up in the loft, we added some extra storage for our most precious items from the end. Plenty of tools and goodies. Oh man, that was quite a productive trip. But with that being said, we mustn't forget our buddy Haboo. How's it going, bud? I'm back. I defeated the Ender Dragon and got us some shulker boxes. What do you think about that? Oh, we're rich. What took me so long? Gosh, Abu, you are a funny guy. You know that? So we have some assorted items already palletized and ready for shipment. Wood and ice. Hopefully this will bolster our relationship with the sand traders. I'm really looking forward to collaborating with them. And hopefully in the future, we can visit the HQ. Soon? I don't know. Today we accomplished a lot. We built a crane 
and defeated the end. If you're still with me, it means a lot. Thank you. This series has been a dream of mine for many years. I'm Cyber Cherry, and I'll see you back here safe and sound. And Don is... The journey in building continues next time with Cyber Cherry.